Now in the search for the missing Idaho siblings, our reporter Marcus Moore tracked down their stepfather Chad Daybell in Hawaii. The mom is behind bars and Marcus joins us now from Kauai. Good morning, Marcus. Uh, George, good morning. For months, relatives and police have asked a very simple question. Where are the children and are they OK? Uh, Valo and her husband have remained silent this entire time. We found Chad Daybell at a gas station here and we asked him the same question. Are the kids OK? Um, can you tell me? Oh, man, so I just can't comment. This morning, Chad Daybell breaking his silence to ABC News. Is there anything that you would like to say to people at all who are number one concerned about the kids or concerned about you uh, and your wife? Anything at all you want to say to them? Just grateful for any support. We just have to wait for the legal process to work through. Daybell refusing to answer questions about the whereabouts of his missing stepchildren, 17-year-old Tylee Ryan and 7-year-old J.J. Vallow. And can you tell me, Mr. Daybell, are, are, the, kids, are the kids okay? On Monday, Daybell was spotted visiting the Hawaii jail, where his wife Lori Vallow is being held on a $5 million bail. Lori Ryan. Vallow, seen in this recently unearthed video, competing for Mrs. Texas in 2004, facing possible extradition to Idaho, and criminal charges related to the disappearance of her children last September. I hope there is justice and I hope the children are found. And another twist, a court document alleging Vallow's niece, Melanie Boudreaux, knows where Tylee and JJ are, but is refusing to cooperate with police. In the document, filed as part of an ongoing custody battle, Melanie's ex-husband, Brandon, seen here in this photo, also alleges Boudreaux is involved in a cult where numerous members, adults and children alike, have been being killed off like flies. Police say they searched Boudreaux's residence, located right next door to Vallow's home in this Idaho apartment complex back in November as part of their investigation. Chad, Lori, can you tell me where your kids are? For months, questions have swirled about Vallow's alleged involvement in her children's disappearance. Police say the 46-year-old lied to them about JJ's whereabouts when they conducted a welfare check last fall and that she and Daybell left town the next day, fleeing to Hawaii, where she was arrested last Thursday. Police say Daybell received at least $430,000 in life insurance money after the death of his wife, Tammy, which is now under investigation. Authorities allege that was enough money for Daybell and Vallow to, quote, travel and hide from law enforcement. We reached out to Vallow's niece, Melanie Boudreaux, about the allegations in that court filing. We have not yet heard back from her. Meantime, Vallow right now being held on that $5 million bond. Her lawyers will once again ask a judge to reduce that bond during a hearing scheduled for this afternoon. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.